Hello learners, welcome to the Data Cafe YouTube channel. In this, uh, in today's video, I am going to explain you how to create uh, uh, DataBricks Community Agent account without uh, uh, any cost. So, first of all, you have to open your favorite browser and type uh, uh, DataBricks Community Edition. So, in the first link, you have to click. Then. Uh, you can see uh, there is a sign in button so you can see uh, it has uh, opened that uh, login page in as of now actually we don't have any account so simply uh, we are new to uh, databricks so you have to click on this uh, sign up button okay so click on that then it will open uh, in another uh, the new tab so this is the uh, uh, databricks for free uh, screen so you can see as a cloud vendors, we can use AWS, uh, Azure, and the Google Cloud Platform. So as of now, actually, uh, we don't have that uh, free uh, accounts for these platforms. So simply, I will create a community edition database account. So for that, you have to uh, tell us about yourself. Simply, you can say uh, data uh, first name and uh, this is the data cafe uh, the last name so uh, data cafe so you have to give your email id so i will give my uh, email id like this and this email id you haven't used for this database community region okay so you have to uh, type your detect so you have to put your phone number like this then you have to click on get started for free button okay so uh, you have to click on that then it will open another uh, tab so you can see uh, if you have that uh, uh, accounts in uh, azure or AWS, uh, aws or google you can select uh, in my case actually i'm going to uh, create these databricks accounts without these uh, cloud vendors so simply you can see uh, there is a link called get started with community edition actually this community edition is support uh, only for the education purposes and the experimental purposes so uh, simply you can click on that then uh, you can create your uh, free community edition account so i will click on this get started with community edition then it will pop up uh the verification so you have to verify it so pick the dear so uh i think this is the dear so anyway verified now you can see uh check your email to start your trial then uh, you have to go to my uh you have to go to your email and uh, you can see that welcome to databricks please verify your email id so uh, you can see uh, to uh, verify your email address you have to click on this link or else uh, this is your sign in email id and uh, get started by visiting by this url so simply i will click on this button and uh, click on the new tab so you can see uh, it will uh, give the reset password page so i will give the uh, new password like this and you have to remember that password then reset password it will take few seconds then you can see uh, your databricks community uh, edition account has created and successfully we have reset the password and it will load uh, your community edition interface in few seconds so as I explained earlier, now you can see uh, uh, we have already created that community edition. So if you go to there, you can see your email ID and settings and all the information. There are a lot of uh, data science and engineering related uh, tutorials and a um, lot of samples. So anyway, so now we have created our uh, Databricks community edition account. Then uh, I will show you how to create a cluster and uh, create a simple notebook to execute your hello world python program okay so in order to create your cluster you have to click on this compute click on that compute then uh, you have to uh, so under compute actually uh, we can create uh, different type of clusters so uh, 
since this is the community edition uh, version we have a limited uh, uh, features but uh, as of now uh, using that features actually we can do a lot of things so simply you can create a, uh, the basic cluster and we will uh, do our uh, R&D stuff and the uh, experimental things okay so in order to create cluster you have to click on this create cluster so you can see uh, you can give the cluster name I will give a data cafe cluster this is my cluster so uh, you can give a different uh, uh, runtime versions like this I will select the default uh, one so if you want you can use different versions and also in in this instance actually we have free 15 GB memory uh, you can see here as a community edition user your cluster will automatically terminate after idle period of two hours it means uh, if you are not uh, executing any command on top of that uh, cluster after uh, two hours automatically uh, this uh, cluster will terminate so if you want uh, to uh, execute it again then uh, you have to start okay so uh, availability uh, zone is zero and keep as default so you can see i have a 15 gb memory and two cores and one database unit okay to create cluster you have to click on this uh, button then it will take few uh, minutes to create your cluster yeah, now you can see my uh, data cafe cluster has created so if you go to that compute sections you can see uh, that cluster has created and uh, up and running so now i will show you how to create a simple notebook uh, to execute your hello world python program so uh, to create that uh, notebook uh, you have to go to that workspace so on the workspace we have two uh, locations one is shared locations other one is the user uh, location in the uh, user workspace basically uh, it's not shared it's private to the, the specific user but if it is a uh, shared then it means uh, yeah, inside that you can use uh, let's say in the in this cluster in, in this uh, cluster environment we have two users then uh, both users can access uh, that notebook if we share in the shared locations anyway i will create a notebook under users then you can see this is my user then i will click on that and right click on that and uh, create new notebook so uh, you have to give data cafe notebook one like this you can give and my default language is python so uh, or else you can use sql scala or by default i am selecting python and also you have to uh, select your cluster in this case actually already we have created the cluster so but uh, let's say if you haven't created uh, that cluster then it will display as detached so as a prerequisite when you are creating a notebook definitely you have to have the up and running cluster so anyway already we have created that cluster then you have to click on this create button to create your notebook now you can see uh, i have created that uh, uh, notebook already it has opened so uh, simply uh, to execute your hello world example in python simply uh, you have to create uh, type print so and this is my uh, hello world example to execute this uh, command there are uh, a few options first one is the shift plus enter to run or else you can click on this uh, run cell or else you can click run all button then if there is any uh, multiple commands uh, when uh, click on this run all button automatically it will execute all the commands or else if you want to uh, execute specific command then you have to click on this one and uh, run cell or likewise uh, you can execute your command so if you want to add new commands then you can add like this on top by click on this uh, plus button so uh, anyway i will execute and show the output you can see my python uh, hello world example has executed successfully on top of the data community edition so i think uh, 
you have a clear understanding about how to create a databricks community edition account and how to create a cluster and how to create notebook and uh, we uh, finally we executed uh, python uh, hello world example so in the next videos i will show you uh, more techniques and the concepts related to the databricks uh, and it will helpful for your data engineering and data science career so if you have any questions you can put on the comment sections thank you